Today we're looking at chemical changes and one common chemical change is cooking. So we're going to investigate how temperature affects chemical change in cooking. I've got my propane stove. Get both sides going here. So I've got my propane stove going and on the left, I'm gonna turn that down about as low as I can go without getting that to go out. And on the right, I'm gonna turn that up higher. So you can see that there's much less light <clears throat> in the flame on the left and the flame on the right is brighter. Next, I'm going to add the cooktop. So we're gonna slide that on and we're gonna let that heat up for just a moment. Temperature on the left, 40 degrees Celsius. Temperature on the right, you can see that's going up quickly. So we're investigating how temperature affects chemical change, in this case, in cooking. So now we're gonna add some eggs and cook some eggs. Ah, I broke my yolk. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right away, the egg on the right is cooking very quickly. The one on the left, you can see it's happening very slowly. So that's an immediate observation that we can make. Temperature affects chemical change. The higher the temperature, the faster the change is going to occur. This temperature over here is low enough that the egg is actually running off the cooktop and onto the side. We see this egg is cooking much faster. Now we immediately noticed a color change in the egg. It went from clear to white. We're seeing some other evidence of color change or of chemical change in that we've got some steaming going on over here. There's some gases that are coming out. There's some bubbling. If we were to listen very close, if we were to listen very closely, there might be some sizzling that was happening. Okay. Now we're seeing even better evidence of a chemical change in that there's color change occurring right here. You can see some parts of this egg are actually starting to burn already. So that's telling me that egg is ready for a flip. There we go. Notice on the bottom, it's changed from white to brown. That's a color change. That evidence is a chemical change happening. I can hear sizzling now. That's a new sound that wasn't there before. The egg on the left is still cooking very slowly. Let's give that a flip. So you can see, and now there's more energy there because pieces are actually starting to fly off. The higher the temperature, the faster the change. The lower the temperature, the slower the change. That's how temperature affects chemical change, in this case, cooking. Okay, it's time to eat. I do a lot of food, don't I?